Hello, this video is a stop motion exploring the process of DNA replication. Here are three things to know before the show. Number one, DNA replication is semi-conservative, which means that half of the parent strand of DNA is used in each of its two daughter strands. Throughout this video, nucleotides will seem to appear out of nowhere, but this isn't exactly the case. There exist free floating nucleotides in the cytoplasm of cells that are bountiful and ready to be used. To better understand this video, it is important to know the names of the star players of DNA replication. Number 1. Helicase Number 2. Gyrase or topoisomerase Number 3. Single strand binding proteins Number 4. RNA polymerase Number 5. DNA polymerase 1 Number 6. DNA polymerase 3 Number 7. Ligase Although hydrogen bonds will not be displayed for the entirety of this video, Please note that adenine pairs with thymine using two hydrogen bonds, while guanine pairs with cytosine using three hydrogen bonds, as cover coded below. Now we are ready to understand DNA replication. First, helicase opens up the DNA strands at the replication fork. Then, topoisomerase works at the region ahead of the replication fork to prevent supercoiling from tension. Then. Single strand binding proteins coat the DNA around the replication fork to prevent rewinding of the DNA strands. The 3 to 5 prime strand is known as the leading strand, while the 5 prime to 3 prime strand is known as the lagging strand. Synthesis of the leading strand begins when RNA polymerase puts down an RNA primer at the 5 prime end. This helps DNA polymerase recognize where to start a synthesis of DNA nucleotides. DNA polymerase 3 continuously extends the primers in the 5' to 3' direction of the complementary strand. Finally, DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA primers with DNA. Synthesis of the lagging strand is similar, but with an important difference. Because DNA polymerase 3 can only extend primers in the 5' to 3' direction, RNA primase must constantly put down RNA primers as DNA polymerase 3 synthesizes in the opposite direction of helicase. DNA polymerase 1 replaces all RNA primers with DNA, and the end result is a line of Okazaki fragments consisting of discontinuous synthesized DNA. Since these fragments have gaps between them, the protein DNA ligase comes in and fuses the sugar phosphate groups of nucleotides to create a continuous sugar phosphate backbone. This simultaneous replication on the leading and lagging strand continues as the helicase breaks further into the entire DNA strand. Eventually, the parent strand will be successfully split into two daughter strands, completing the semi-conservative process of DNA replication.